What is going on everyone? Might go back with another PC pickup video. Got a selection of stuff here that's come in through recent mail days and a few items that I picked up at a local card show this past weekend. So excited to share some of the items I've picked up for the collection. Hopefully everyone out there is doing well, enjoying baseball season. Hard to believe already almost three full months into the season. The all-star break is coming up. That also means July, you get to that halfway point of July, and then late July, the Nationals coming up. Certainly looking forward to that, hanging out with uh, whoever's able to make it out there. If you are planning on attending the National, make sure you let me know down below. Also, Hobby Palooza, fourth year of Hobby Palooza coming up this coming weekend. I will be participating. I should be on Saturday evening, so make sure you check out bench clear media to check that out i think it's going to be like 24 plus hours uh, over the course of two days of live content so it should be really fun to check out the different live streams and all the guests popping on with all that being said let's check out some of the pickups so got a few tops now cards that came in here's a craig kimbrell kimbrell's had a few uh phillies cards so far he's in Top Series 2, but uh, Top's now on celebrating that 400th save of his career. Kimbrell's been pretty good. If you look at his numbers, um, they don't look great because he got bombed a couple times early in the year, but he's actually been very good lately and borderline dominant, like just really clean games. He's been throwing very well, throwing really hard, throwing strikes, so it's been... Great to see. It's been really good to see a bullpen that's, generally speaking, been very good this year. Another Tops Now card that arrived is the Trey Turner Alec Bohm from May 24th. Six-run comeback. So Trey Turner down to uh, the last out of the game, hit a two-run homer to tie the game, and then Alec Bohm had a walk-off hit. So super cool. That was definitely a fun game to watch. Uh, afternoon game so happy to get those in i enjoy tops now it's you know when the team's playing well when the team's having big wins big moments it's always fun that next day anticipating whether they'll have a card or not and then kind of what it'll look like and i'd like to add them all to the set so those are pickups here's a few slabs that i recently got in from ebay 2022 finest flashbacks Bryce Harper Black Refractor in a PSA Mint 9. That is numbered to 25. These, I don't particularly care if I buy them graded or not. If I get them at a good price, I'm happy with it. A few years ago, I was doing the whole run in SGC holders, but I can mix and match holders as long as it's a you know real grading company, PSA, SGC. Uh, now CGC, of course, in the past, CSG. Um, I'm kind of cool with all those holders. So, beautiful looking Harper for the Harper and the Phillies collection. Two SGC tops. A lot of opportunities to pick up some of the uh, more common Phillies stuff in the SGC holders from tops due to the specials. A lot of people sent stuff in, then they're just trying to recoup money. So this is the All Aces, which is a great insert. They did Aaron Nolan Series 1. They've got Series 2 as Carlton and Zach Wheeler, so would like to pick them up. Just a really nice looking insert. It's a SGC 10. Um, got that one at auction very cheap. Uh, Nola's had a great career. I know he's had ups and downs for sure. He's not had a great year this year in a uh, kind of a walk year with the contract, but he's definitely pitched in some great moments. And career-wise, you look at his total numbers, he's up there. Um, you know, one of the top 10 starters the Phillies have produced in franchise history, believe it or not. 2023 tops Chrome Stars of MLB. Bryce Harper in a 9.5. Again, was able to bundle that one with the NOLA combined shipping. Got them both at auction um, at really good prices. So always fun to pick up stuff like that. couple raw singles here. This is a Greg Lazinski Platinum Anniversary Blue Mini Diamond Refractor. 
Serial number to add up 199. Lazinski fan favorite. I really liked Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary last year. It's kind of a brutal break. Just very hard to get the value based on the original prices they came out. Right now, you can buy the boxes actually at really affordable prices. They are coming out with a 2022 version that's been delayed, delayed, delayed. They just recently released a checklist. Uh, Cub Honor cards less in the set, but still a big set. So hopefully there'll be a lot of fan favorites in that one as well. Got a Brandon Marsh. This is the uh, Golden Mirror Super Short Print Image Variation from Series 1. Still kind of working to put together uh, as many of the Phillies as possible. And I actually need all of the Series 2 ones still at this point. The Series 2 one's been a lot more difficult to come across. But nice looking card there. Trying to add these all um, into the binder eventually. So that's one of the things I'm going to have to keep an eye out for some of those at the National. Uh, you still see them from time to time on eBay, but they have kind of dried up to a degree. And final pickup is a gold refractor of Adam Hazley from Finest Flashbacks a few years ago. That one's serial number to 50. Just a huge fan of 2020 uh, Finest Flashbacks. So I will pretty much always, when I run into a Phillies one, um, add it to the list. I didn't check my list to see if I needed the gold Hazley or not. Um, even so, if I have some raw that I haven't graded to this point, because I do like to get all these graded doing the entire run, I'll usually pick them up at the right price, and then I have choices when I send stuff in. All right, and then final thing that came through the mail, and then we'll get to some of the card show stuff. Uh, is a care package here, which I appreciate, from Three Rivers Card Collector. That's David H. Sent a note. He pulled these Harpers over the past couple of years. Wanted to make sure they ended up in the right collection. If they don't fit all yours, feel free to share. Keep up the great videos. You're one of my go-to channels for new product views from a collector's mindset. So I appreciate it, David. Uh, definitely unnecessary, but absolutely appreciate it. So we got some Bryce Harper action here. We've got a Harper Blue Disco Prism from Prism. That is serial numbered out of 199 from 2022 Prism. That is definitely a card I did not have. So thank you for that. That one fits perfectly in the Harper slash Phillies PC. Next up, we got the yellow Bryce Harper. From 2020 Tops. I'm trying to think what the yellow was. I think yellow was Walgreens, right? I don't know if they're still making yellow this year or not. But that is another one I definitely didn't have. Great image there. He got him pumped up at second base. In the powder blues. Hair is going crazy. He got the Fanatic headband. Very cool card. So thank you for that as well. And I definitely don't have this one. Definitely appreciate it. Vintage stock Bryce Harper from 2020 Tops. So vintage stock, you have, if you didn't have this in the holder and you kind of felt it, it's got that old paper back. Serial numbered out of 99. And then you have the retro Tops logo. And I will say, I always like vintage stock. They're cool. I've pulled a few here and there. Um, not very easy to pull at all. I think in Series 2, I did a couple cases in Series 2 and didn't pull any. Maybe I had one. Um, but I constantly see images of these cards on Facebook, like in groups, and people always saying, you know, confused, not knowing what it is. They just see the old Tops logo. So that is awesome, David. Three for three in cards I did not have in the collection. Thank you for that. Again, very much appreciate it. I hope you... Have a great one. 1994 Flair. This is um, just a cheap pickup at local card show. 94 Flair Phillies team set. I have a bunch of these cards, but uh, the price was definitely right on this. Um, had bought a whole bunch of stuff from a guy and kind of bulked this one in. But Flair was just a great looking set. So 94 Flair, you've got Darren Dalton, the full bleed, action image, close up, 
We got Lenny Dykstra. So a bunch of these guys are obviously uh, well known for their role on the '93 Phillies, who had you know won the pennant the year before. So Lenny Dykstra. This is Doug Jones. He was a closer in '94. Actually made the All Star game. Um, he replaced Mitch Williams when they had dealt him to Houston following the World Series. And the backs of these cards are beautiful as well. Full career statistics and great imaging. Ben Rivera. He was the fifth starter in 93. Danny Jackson. Danny Jackson was uh, one of the Phil starters in 93. Every Philly starter won over 10 games that year. He was 12 and 11, 377 ERA. Pitched some important games. And then he was awesome in 94, reached the All Star game. Danny Jackson had some great years in his career. Here is a Dave Hollins, third baseman. Jim Eisenreich, great story. Again, member of the 93 Phillies and then was actually a world champion in 97 with the Marlins, him and Darren Dalton. Tommy Green. This guy was a really good pitcher. Unfortunately, injuries kind of derailed his career a bit, shortened his career, but he's local to the area at this point. Tommy Green, Milt Thompson, two-time Philly, also a Phillies coach. So been with the Phillies organization for a very long time. Billy Hatcher, he's not as well remembered in Philadelphia. He was with the Phillies, I think, in 94, possibly 95 a little bit as well. Kevin Stocker. Kevin Stocker came up in 93 and kind of filled the void at shortstop. They really, that was like their biggest problem. They had Juan Bell early in the year. He was very light hitting and had some troubles defensively. Stocker came up. They really brought him up for his defense. He was major league ready for defense, played really well defense, and then kind of shocked everyone with how well he played offensively. Um, hitting 324. That was the best offensive year of his career. Uh, played a number of years with the Phillies and then ended up going to Tampa Bay. Great trade for the Phillies. They traded him to Tampa Bay for Bobby Abreu, who obviously worked out very well for them. And then Stocker also played for the Angels. He is uh, currently Phillies uh, broadcaster on the radio. He does color commentary um, for the majority of road games. It's Mariano Duncan. I think he was an all-star in 94 with the Phillies. Had some huge moments in 93. Ricky Jordan, amazing role player for the Phillies in 93. Jeff Juden, he was acquired in that Mitch Williams trade as well. David West, he pitched a lot of big innings out of the bullpen for the Phillies. Fernando Valenzuela, I mean, it's just awesome to have a Fernando Valenzuela card. Again, obviously known for his days with the Dodgers. Had some, you know, big times with the Dodgers and then kind of bounced around there for a while with the Angels and the Orioles and got a shot with the Phillies and pitched pretty well. If you look up his career numbers with the Phillies, pitched pretty well. It's a Kurt Schilling, kind of odd that he's batting. Uh, Schilling, a beast in the 93 postseason. Uh, obviously a brilliant career with the Phillies. Absolutely should be in the Hall of Fame. Anyone who thinks otherwise... You know, you're just not looking at the on-field and the big moment accomplishments. Definitely a Hall of Fame pitcher. Hopefully he gets in at some point. I mean, he, he might be a knucklehead and make bad choices um, outside from time to time. And certainly has self-inflicted a lot of his issues, but kind of ridiculous he's not in. Bobby Munoz, he was acquired from the Yankees in the trade that sent Terry Mulholland to the Yankees. He uh, had a lot of potential. And then we got John Cruck, the Crucker, Philly's uh, television broadcaster at this point. Obviously, just a fan favorite. Really good player. Had a really nice career. Multiple All Star games. Um, played well with the Padres in the past. Obviously, he was awesome with the Phillies. And then uh, had one final year with the White Sox. So, just a really cool set. And. Man, I do miss having uh, multiple companies so you'd have a selection of sets to get. And then the final items, I'll lift the camera up to show these off. Last few pickups from that card show. We've got a JT Real Muto. 
Topps Turkey Red. This is about a five by seven or so. Um, it is the gold border numbered three of ten. These used to be available on demand. I don't think they offer the uh, enlarged cards anymore, but just a very cool card there. Was able to pick up. Then I've got a scorecard. So the Phillies used to have, and they might still do it, um, player scorecards, 8 by 10 and the back should have uh, career stats. They came in the scorecards just as like a way to help you help get people to purchase the scorecards at the stadium. And they do different players from time to time, different games, different home stands. You can see they had have different numberings. So the Travis Lee was only numbered to 1,200. It wasn't exactly the times when the Phillies were uh, blowing up the attendance, but pretty cool. And you got to wonder how many of these are left. I mean, at the time, how many did they sell? How many were left over? Um, you know, some that didn't sell might have gotten tossed. Then how many at the game did people spill sodas on and or leave under their seat? Things like that. But ran into it. It was very cheap, very cool. And, you know, myself and Wesker Griff have an ongoing battle of, uh, you know, who has the best uh, Travis Lee PC. So we continue to battle that out. And then the final pickup is just an advertisement page. Uh, a Wheaties advertisement page. Probably from back in 1949. Probably in a comic book publication. Richie Ashburn. I mean, how cool is that? Named the 1948 Rookie of the Year by the Sporting News. You got little comics there talking about the 21-year-old Phillies outfielder. Promoting Wheaties. The Breakfast of Champions. True comics. So that's super cool. Just something I, I've kind of seen these before and had my eye on for quite a while. Uh, I know I was able to get some other Phillies stuff in the past. So happy to add that. So that is it. Um, picked up some cool stuff. Always fun to uh, get stuff in the mail and check out and pick up stuff at card shows. Comment below. Let me know what you think of the pickups. Any, uh, any ones that stand out. Appreciate it. Have a great one. And I will talk to you next time. See ya.